I like to be able to say on Thanksgiving, I made that, I made that fresh. And when it tastes good, it makes everybody happy. Hey, it's Layla Ali. Today I wanna to share my Thanksgiving cranberry sauce with you. When it comes to cranberry sauce, so many people just run to the store and buy it, but it's actually very simple to make and I'm about to show you how. So I have fresh cranberries here. I'm gonna add them to my pan. Turn the heat up on medium. I'm gonna add some pure maple syrup. I like to use maple syrup in place of refined sugar like some people use because it has so many vitamins and minerals whereas refined sugar not only has no nutritional value, it's actually bad for you. I'm gonna add a little orange juice for sweetness and flavor. And I'm gonna add some cranberry juice because really we just need something for these cranberries to cook in and instead of adding water, we wanna keep that flavor there with the cranberry juice. I like to make cranberry sauce fresh because it's so easy, it's so much healthier. Anytime you can have something fresh that you made, you're definitely gonna feel good about it and it's gonna be better for you. Now we're gonna just let this simmer for about 10 minutes until these cranberries start to pop. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my orange rind. This is a more concentrated orange flavor and citrus always goes well with cranberries. I'm gonna add a cinnamon stick and I'm gonna let this cook down for another 10 minutes. And that cinnamon really brings out all the flavors. This smells so fragrant and delicious. You don't need any potpourri when you got this cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so my cranberries are ready to go. I'm gonna let this cool down, then I'm gonna transfer them into the serving bowl, put them in the fridge until they're ready to serve. Look how beautiful this cranberry sauce came out. And it smells so great. No Thanksgiving dinner is complete without cranberry sauce. So enjoy and have a happy Thanksgiving.